Hello, this is Fine Arts with Bessim. I'm your host Bessim, and we are just finishing up this portrait of Pope Shenouda. Uh, last time I did the, uh, the background there, and today we're just going to continue on with the clothing. Okay. So, for the clothing, uh, of course he's wearing his uh, uh, traditional uh, black robe. And I'm just using the same colors I used for the, the hat and uh, to make that color, <clears throat> which is of course black or off blacks, it's not uh, just pure black. Uh, I use brown and uh, blue and that does uh, give me that black. So I'm just going to sort of roughly put it in. Okay. Don't be afraid to touch the background. That's completely fine. Okay. Continue down with that. And again, I don't want too much detail. So I'm just going to sort of blend it out and not really concentrate on any of the, uh, of the detail. brush and dip it in a little bit of turpentine Again, as we did uh, up there, uh, we're going to get to put um, some of the detail on the hair, just overlap the darks. I want it to be a little bit rough. I don't want it to give uh, to, to be too um, finished, if you will. Okay, so we'll leave it at that for now. And um, actually, the staff is just uh, under his beard on the left-hand side. Uh, for that, I got this yellow. It's a cadmium yellow. It's a, it's, a, it's almost a neon yellow. Uh, you, you hardly use this, um, but we will be using it today uh, because there is a little bit of gold, just a tiny bit. We just want to touch of it and I'm going to pick a spot on my palette to put it and it looks like right here will do. Okay. And I'm just going to zoom in. So, a little bit of yellow, mix it in with the other Naples yellow, have some white, a little bit of brown, the other brown, okay. And put it in there. Uh, a little bit too neon, so more of the brown to mute it a bit. And the other yellow. Ta 
touch of oil. Okay. Again, you don't want too much concentration in this area. You want it to be a little bit rough. Okay. And use a little bit more brown here. Mix it with the other brown. white for the shiny part. Okay, a little bit of a trick here. What we'll do is we'll run this tiny brush across the whole thing and just to blend in the colors together and uh, and give it a texture. There's a little jewel that goes in the center here. Gold is very reflective, so we're supposed to end up using a lot of colors. We'll take some shortcuts to that. all the colors I put in. And running this brush across it, blend it in a bit. paint, obviously the longer it takes to dry, so this part uh, is going to take a long time to dry. And I'm actually going to go back and, and touch up the beard here. I was waiting this whole time so that I put this color under, so that I go back and do this. I actually just did it here uh, on the edge, right after I did the background. darker colors to do that as well. It's a good thing if it blends with the color under. And I'm just doing it uh, around the whole beard. Stray hairs, kind of just 
sort of put them in there somewhere. I'm actually doing this in no uh, particular direction. Sort of anything will do. And you don't want to put too much detail again. Uh, I say that a lot, but it really does make a difference. Putting a bit of an outline on the, the staff. Touch of oil. I'm just going to go on with this uh, staff. And we'll continue with the background next time. Thanks for joining me. I'm Bessim, and I'll see you guys next time.